Hi, I'm Robert Coleman. I'm a Senior Applications Manager at Texas Instruments. Welcome to Power Tips. Welcome to Power Tip 57. In this Power Tip, we're going to take a look at a different kind of snubber for a flyback. Uh, traditionally, you'll see RCD snubbers in flybacks, and they have a, the drawback of dissipating power, particularly at, at light loads. With the emphasis on high efficiencies in power supplies, this is no longer acceptable, so a different snubbing technique is required. To summarize what a snubber needs to do in the flyback, it needs to limit the MOSFET voltage stress to an acceptable level. You want to keep the MOSFET from operating in avalanche mode. The second thing that you have to do with this snubber is you have to discharge the leakage inductance very quickly. Um, as we talked about in power tip 17, the longer you take to discharge this leakage inductance, the lower the efficiency of the power supply is going to be. The next thing it has to do is it has to minimize circuit losses due to the addition of the snubber. In the RCD snubber, it's not acceptable because it does have the uh, power dissipations at light loads. And then the final thing that you have to do is you have to avoid impacting the dynamics of the power supply. In the RCD approach, um, if you make the capacitor too large, the um, power supply has a hard time following input voltage transients. So this is the schematic of an adapter that you, that you might see. Uh, we have a universal input voltage, 85 to 265. Um, it gets rectified and filtered, and then it's applied to the flyback power stage. Uh, traditionally, you'll see an RCD snubber used at the drain of the MOSFET to limit the voltage. In this case, we, we have a little different snubber configuration. We're going to put a resistor in series with the diode, in series with the Zener diode. And so the Zener diode will provide most of the clamping in the circuit, and it will only dissipate power when need be. It's different from the um, RCD clamp in that the RCD clamp, there's always power being dissipated in, in the resistor. In this view graph, we're going to look at the drain voltage of the MOSFET, and we're going to present two different pictures. This first picture is with no resistance in series with the diode. So simply all we're doing with the um, clamp is we're using the zener to limit the voltage on the drain of the MOSFET. And so the leakage inductance discharges, you can see the current coming down a little bit, and then, then you can see where the current has gone to zero, the series diode disconnects the zener from, from the drain of the MOSFET, and then the voltage rings, and it rings pretty significantly. In this next picture, we've added the resistor in series with the, with the diode. And now we have two different waveforms that we're showing here. The first one with the flatter top is the uh, zener voltage. And you see that zener does a pretty good job of maintaining the voltage at a constant level. The second trace is the voltage on the drain of the MOSFET, and you see that the, there is some voltage across the resistor in our snubber, and you can see the current decay here, and then, then you can see go to zero, and then you can see that the drain voltage rings a little bit. And the reduced ringing is due to the fact that we had the resistor in there. And so this will minimize some of the EMI in the power supply and provide less noisy operation, perhaps. So thank you for paying attention to this power tip. For more power tips, visit Power Management Design Line and search power tips, or click on the link to all articles in the description section of this video. Thank you.